Hey, hey, welcome back. In the last video, we created a to-do database together in Notion for all of your tasks and to-dos and priorities. And today we will create a weekly overview page together that incorporates this to-do dashboard that we've built uh, on the page to have everything in one place. Why? Because it will help you organize better and have all your ideas, thoughts, tasks, dreams, plans on one page, in one place, so that they will never get lost again because you wrote them on a piece of paper while you were in the bathroom and then you lost this piece of paper and it happens. Been there, done that. And better organization equals less stressful life equals more time to do the things you love which is the goal if you haven't watched the first two videos i've made the first one is the introduction to notion video and the second is part one where we create the to-do database together that we will use in this video go back and watch it if you're new here my name is maria and i'm a student and I will be moving to Dublin for my Master of Science in Digital Marketing Strategy this August, September-ish. And Notion has been a great help in the planning phase, organizing phase, application phase, everything. Which is why I make videos about Notion now and about organization and about studying abroad. So follow me if you're interested in those types of videos. This channel is all about living ambitiously without um, burning yourself out and using tools that are available to plan better, make your life less stressful and achieve your goals because you deserve it and we deserve it. So to recap, last week we have created this to-do database or tasks database, whatever you like to call it. And we have also started making the weekly overview page that will look like this in the end so we've started doing that and we'll continue doing that today let's start by beginning with the first section and here you can already see we have a view with today's tasks here and it is a linked database to our database that we have already built to link to this database on our page we go to our weekly overview and we type in the slash command, which is shift and seven. And then we search for linked view of database. And now we can choose our to do's database as a data source and we'll hide the database title by clicking on the three dots and click on the filter, click on the filter button here, click on the three dots here because there is a status filter already chosen for us we don't need that delete the filter and then click add filter due date is today we will also add a, another filter so i'm gonna create an advanced filter due date is today Turn into group or status is recurring. So we only want to show tasks in this view that are due today, that we have to get done today, or that we have marked with the status recurring. And if you don't know what that means, just watch my previous video because I explain that in detail there. Let me just quickly go to our original database and set one of the tasks to today so that you can see that it changes. And as you can see, we now have three tasks in our database. Two of them are due today and one of the tasks is marked as recurring. So it's also in the database because we have filtered the database to show that. Uh, one of the tasks is done. And if we click on the archive checkbox that we have here, that we've also defined last time, it does not go away like it does in our to-dos database because we also have to set a filter for that and this can be done very easily let's just click on filter again add filter archive is unchecked 
So every time you check the archive box now, it will disappear. The task will disappear into the archive. I don't really like this table layout, so I'm gonna duplicate this and change the layout to gallery. You can also change the card preview to be none and card size to small. This is what I prefer, but you can also play around with all of these layouts and find what works best for you. What I would also do is click on properties and unhide some of the properties such as archive, then in 10, as well as section and status. So now we can see all of these properties in this view as well. And I'm also gonna rename the two views here. Gallery today, just click on them and click her name and table today perfect i will also create another view so i'm gonna duplicate the gallery today view like this i'm gonna create a done in 10 minutes view and if you have watched the last video on my channel you would know that this just means that these tasks can get done in 10 minutes or less and we have created a property for this as well so yeah i have created this new view and we can now edit the filter to archive as uh, this archive is in checked filter stays and here we have to change these rules to done in 10 is checked here you can only see the tasks that only require 10 minutes or less of your time that you can do whenever you find the time to do them quickly. To create a two column layout, in this case, when there's a database, you cannot just pull something to the side and create two columns, but there is a hack for that. We should click on the six dots and turn this database into a page. And then you can drag and drop a, an image or another block next to it and now what you can do is click on the six dots again and turn into inline and now you have a two column layout now we can just add the image like we have here uh, this is a basic image that i've created in canva just a white background and some text that says get things done and i will leave a link to it in the description below so that you can download it as well or you can just create your own a lot of possibilities here but I would, for now, just choose a file and upload it to, to my Notion. Next, underneath, we have this very cool overview that shows us how much of the week has passed, how much of the month has passed, how much of the quarter has passed, and how much of the year has passed. And this is actually a widget, and you can use them to personalize Notion even more. If you go to this page called indify.com, it will show you all the free widgets that you can use in your Notion. And you can just choose a widget such as use your time. This is a widget I've used. And then you can customize it. So you can click if you want to show how much of the day has passed as well, how much of life has passed, your life has passed. Well, this is depressing. Um, <laughs> how many years do you expect to live? It's an interesting question. And then you just copy this link and go to your Notion, add a block underneath our get things done picture, you can also resize it, paste a link and click create embed. And look at that, now we have this widget on our Notion page. You can also resize this widget to be you know, as big or as small as you want it to be by just dragging the sides here. Next we want to build this countdown like this one, days until Dublin is 63 days or 63 days are remaining. This is just a database as well, just like to do our to do databases, databases is also a database, which is quite simple, but it has also an advanced formula that I will leave in the description below so that you can copy it and it looks like this. We need three properties here. We need or columns, we need name, due date and the formula column so let's create that let's create a new block and type in inline 
database, database inline. Type in, for example, days until Valentine's Day. And then we can change this property to be formula. Right, rename formula. And this should be the first column. Name will be Valentine's Day. And the last property we need is due date property. And this should also be due date, just date, the date property. So the next Valentine's Day is on the 14th of February. Just gonna type in that. Name is Valentine's Day. And this formula, I'll just copy that. There are 239 days remaining until the next Valentine's Day. So if you're celebrating, you'll have something to look forward to, I guess. So I just made this column longer so that we cannot see all of the other columns because we don't need them like this. And it looks nice. I mean, now we have our counter. So what do we want to build next? Let's see. We want to have this section here, which is our priorities of the month. So create a block underneath our to today's tasks. And this will be a heading two and call it June priorities. We can also add a background color of orange or a color you like. And priorities, I want to change the color to red. And I'll also add an emoji here. I use a shortcut on Mac, control command space for this. And I want to add a pin. Next thing uh, I have here is a page that has my plan for the month where I take some notes on online courses. It looks like this for me and if you want me to show it to you i can definitely make another video about how i learned digital marketing how i plan and structure all of my notes on online courses the courses i still want to take the courses i have already done underneath that i have a divider you can either type divider slash command then divider or you can do a faster way to do it is just type in a few minus signs like that and then it automatically creates a divider from that. Here I also have some to-do checkboxes. So let's create those as well. Create a block plus and then we can use a shortcut option 5-6 on my keyboard on Mac or you can just type in the slash command and then to-do to -do list. The same thing and then there is a to do checkbox that appears and you can type in for example go to the gym two times a week that sounds realistic and you can also add another to do such as finish the online course about cats why not and if you want to nest one checkbox underneath another checkbox you can also click on the tab button and then it nests the checkbox inside another checkbox you can also just drag and drop them underneath another checkbox and then it also does the same thing film the intro to the course so this is part of part of the first main checkbox which is why it's nested inside it another to do you could have is for example practicing piano don't overdo them because the most important thing is you want to get them done, I guess. Keep them realistic and attainable as much as you can. And what we will also create is a page called archive. So slash command page archive. I'll add an icon, which is a bin. Go back to the weekly overview. So if you're done with a task and you have with your gym priorities, you're done, you can just check them and put them into the archive so that they don't disturb you anymore after the month is done and you can add your new priorities just change the month july and change your 
priorities to new ones or move old ones to the new month if you haven't done everything you've planned to do. What I also have here on the page is this new task button, which we can of course also do together. For that, you can add a slash command and then search for template button and then this appears and you can configure the template button. So this is what it will look like now. And you can change the text here, new priority, for example. So whatever you write here will appear if you click on this button. So in this case, if you click on this button right now, it would show just this to do checkbox. And this is what we want, so let's just close the configuration of the template button and let's move this template button to be above all of the other priorities because this way all of the to-dos will appear underneath, which is nice, which is what we want. And here you can also see I have my daily tasks, so three things I would like to do every day if I find the time, kind of like building a habit for it. So let's create that as well. Let's add a heading, heading free and type in daily. And then you can do maybe a bullet point, just a minus and then a space and type in, you know, a uh, practice Italian for 15 minutes a day. Or, for example, five minutes clean up. Or, what do we have here? Online course. Do an online course lesson, for example. And then you have your three goals that you want to do every day. Another part that we have here is the core values. So, let's create that quickly. I'm gonna type in the slash command and then the callout, callout block. And here you can change the emoji to something else if you want. I'll just choose this paper clip and I type in my core values, make this part bold. And I hold shift and enter to create a new line without going to the next block. And now you can um, type in your core values such as connection, empathy, authenticity. And if you want, I can also make a video about my core values and how I chose mine so that maybe if, if you're finding it hard to decide on yours, you can learn from my example. But for now, let's just choose these three values. I'm noticing now that I also have a different font on this page than on the page we're duplicating. This is a very easy fix. You just go to the three dots and click on the serif style. And now we have a different font on the whole page as well. And the last part of the page is here, the weekly. This is a weekly tasks overview. So let's create that. Let's type in a slash command and then start typing linked database, linked view of database, choose to do again. And what we can do now is add a filter again to be due date is before and then one week from now. This will show you all of the tasks that are due this week or like before next week. So before, before one week from now. And I really like this view in combination with the daily view. So I have the daily view that shows me my focus for today and I also have my weekly view that shows me the, you know, the tasks for the whole week. So I'm just gonna change this to another layout which will be, in this case, a board because I like boards. And then I'm gonna select color columns and I'm also gonna go to properties and unhide some of the properties here. So I'm gonna turn in 10. Maybe we don't need that. I'm gonna add due date and I'm gonna add section. And I'm also gonna rearrange these. So get to next up, 
recurring someday we can hide for now because the recurring tasks will also appear here every day you don't need them on your weekly dashboard and we also need to add a filter that so that the tasks that are already the archive is checked don't show up so yeah this is the weekly database let's see what we're missing so let's create that let's rename this to weekly view and let's duplicate this to be a list and as a filter we'll keep the due date is before one week from now and we'll also add archive is unchecked because we only want to see the tasks that haven't been checked that you've maybe missed and we'll also add a sort due date is ascending what we can also do is click on the properties and click on days left to show them and the due date and we will also rename this view to be forgot anything so that you can check if you have forgotten anything and that any tasks are overdue that are not checked yet so that you can reassign a date to them and you know do them sometime soon another view that i also had is the calendar view so i'm just gonna duplicate this view and change the layout to calendar And then in the filter options, let's remove this and only keep the tasks. So let the database show the tasks that are not done. I'm gonna select the properties, done in 10, section and status. So that we can see what is going on. And we are today here. Edit website section is on the list today and we can also archive that and it disappears from our view. And the very last view we have is the someday no date view. So I'm just gonna duplicate this view again and rename it to be someday no date. Now we can change the layout to maybe table and set a filter this we can delete set a filter to be status is someday and here only the tasks that we have marked with the someday tag will appear where you maybe don't have a due date yet um, assigned and it's kind of like a backlog for your tasks so yeah, this is the database. This line you can see here, I will also leave in the description below. This is just an image that is sized a bit weirdly, you could say. And you can just copy it from the link below. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I helped you build this weekly dashboard and to get to know Notion a bit better today. And if you like this video, do leave a comment below saying how you are finding notion if you're finding it hard to navigate if these videos are helping you or not uh, what video should create next what you would like to see also check out my other two notion videos for now more are coming and i really hope they're helpful thank you very much for watching and see you next time bye bye have a lovely week